The tail of the dragon is considered to be a mecca of sorts for motorcyclists. And I guess that's fitting as it is my final destination before I head home. Fake our town at a cafe called Divine. Well, I paid the fare, the concierge took me outside. He said, Get on board your taxi, has a ride. And she took me on a motorcycle, motorcycle. As I ride, I can't help but think how amazing it is that just a couple days ago, I was on a beach on an island in the middle of the ocean, and a couple days before that, I was swimming under a waterfall in the hills of West Virginia. I really have come quite a ways on this journey. And yes, Mom, it was definitely as dangerous as it looks. Luckily, I'm not on one of those bikes designed to go flying around these corners, and that's not really my thing. There were lots of skid marks of the cars and bikes going off into the woods or off cliffs. But for the most part, everyone seemed to be pretty safe and uh, eager to get out of your way if you got up behind them. Well, she helps you to decide, but I'll go anywhere she likes. Well, she takes me on a motorcycle. Although it was cool to be able to say that I did the Turtle of the Dragon twice. I can't say that it really stood out as anything extraordinary. Not really anything to do with the Tail of the Dragon itself, but the fact that I just spent a week riding nothing but backcountry roads over 2,000 miles to get to this point. Parts of Virginia and West Virginia were just as windy and just as beautiful. But nonetheless, I'm glad I did it. Luckily, I didn't add anything to that today. <laughs> While in the Great Smoky Mountains, I saw hundreds of other bikers all on their own journey, which really made me reflect back on mine. Over the past week, I traveled over 2,000 miles through eight different states in Washington, D.C. I made a few new friends, spent time with some old ones. I spent time with family that I don't get to see as often as I'd like. Although our time together was short, it was great to share a few memories, laughs, and tears. This trip was the launching point for this channel, and I hope my videos brought some sort of entertainment for all that watched. As this adventure comes to an end, I'm tired, my butt is sore, the bike needs repairs, and I've spent way too much money but none of this matters. The only thing on my mind is when and where will the next adventure take me.
I was only gone a week. <laughs> <laughs>